you want the Galaxy S4 but it's either too big or too expensive, no problem, you should check out the GS4 Mini. I'm Anton, this is Pocket Now, and we're unboxing the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. So here's the FedEx packaging and here's the obligatory scissors to take care of it. And while we open the envelope to check what's inside, let's talk a bit about the GS4 Mini before we got our hands on it. Samsung announced the GS4 Mini on May 30 and officially introduced it to the world in plastic and silicon at the June 20 London event. We've already published a quick and dirty comparison between the Galaxy S4 Mini and its original bigger brother while we were in London, so make sure to follow us on all the usual social media channels so that you know exactly when a new video or review goes live. And of course, as usual, a big shout out to our friends at clove.co.uk who supplied us with this review unit. And with that, here's the box, and while we don't want to jump to comparisons, this is how it compares to the box of the original Galaxy S4. They are identical. Taking a closer look at the outside of the carton, we are greeted with a color picture of the device itself, underneath which the Galaxy S4 Mini branding resides. Yes, it's almost the same as the one on the GS4. There's nothing really interesting going on on the sides, except more branding, and the back calls out some specs like the LTE capabilities, Super AMOLED screen, a 1.7GHz dual-core processor held by 1.5GB of RAM, as well as the usual suspects, including a 1900mAh battery. Opening the box reveals the phone itself, which we'll put to the side just for a second. The box itself contains the usual uh, literature, as well as a micro USB cable for syncing and charging, bundled headphones, which are always nice, with some spare various sized buds, a UK plug, and the battery itself, which is rated at 7.22 watt hours, which is exactly 1900 milliamp hours. And now let's switch to the special screen protector peeling cam mode. Boom! Quick hardware tour. The front holds the 4.3 inch QHD display with a 540x960 resolution. There's the earpiece on the top, branding, sensors, a 1.9 megapixel webcam, and there's the home buttons plus capacitive buttons on the bottom as usual. 8 megapixel shooter on the back with an LED flash, and since we're already here with the GS4, this is how they look compared side by side. A little bit of hyperglaze fingerprint action going on there, but let's add more devices to the comparison. We have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 first, and then let's add the HTC One, and let's add the Nokia Lumia 925, and maybe the Apple iPhone 5, and of course, the GS4 itself. Once the battery door is removed, we are seeing the camera construction, a micro SIM slot, micro SD card slot for expanding the 8GB internal storage, and we'll insert the battery, pop back the cover, and go for the first boot. Yes, this is Hyperglaze 2 and has the same texture as the one on the white GS4. A quick rundown of specs while it boots up, the GS4 Mini GTI9190 packs a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display with QHD resolution, that's 960x540, and it is powered by a 1.7GHz dual core processor. There's 1.5GB of RAM, 8GB of internal storage, of course expandable, 8MP shooter, 1.9MP webcam, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, and the 1900mAh battery in addition to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, and all the others. Everyone, that's gonna do it for today for the Galaxy S4 Mini unboxing. I've been Anson Dinod, you can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching, till next time.